I saw a drift in a quiet place back to back last night. And I, so far this review is super effortless and super short. It's because I really have no care to talk about a drift. I just want to get to a quiet place. But I'll talk about a drift. A drift. So a drift is a true story about this girl named Tammy and then this guy named Richard. They like fall in love, yay, and then they go onto this boat. That boat wrecks, and now they have to survive on the water by themselves. Alright, tell me about rules this movie. I thought that Shailene Woodley kills it. I thought we, she was so good as this main girl who's like alone. She's alone for a good point of the time. She doesn't find Richard on the boat for a while. But she's alone for a while on that boat, and I thought she did very good. I thought she was the star of the movie. Well, I don't actually know who plays Richard. I didn't like him. I thought he was, it felt like he showed one emotion the entire time, and that was phoning it in. God, the only thing I actually liked in this movie was Shailene Woodley. There's not much to like out of this movie. That, granted, there are really intense scenes in this movie, but those intense scenes are done, like, they're cut off so poorly. Alright, here's what really killed this movie for me. It was because this movie, what it would do is it would, it would start with, it's first, it actually starts with, um, Shingley Woodley, um, getting up, like, um, w waking up after the whole, um, bull wreck. That's how the movie starts. It goes back to, like, their love life before this. Then it goes back to the boat, then it is that. And why that can work in movies is because if the first part of the story is going to take a while, it's going to be boring. This movie didn't have to do that. I think they could have done... Maybe that first act would have been a bit boring and I wouldn't really have cared. But at least you would have had two, two other acts that were really solid. Instead, this movie has two acts that are freaking boring, and then the third act is somewhat intense. But it's actually... A really depressing movie, honestly. Like, granted, so those two third... I mean, like, if you just... If you just put it in the right order, it would have worked. And also the arcs in this movie. Alright, let's just talk about a movie that did mix it up. Deadpool. That movie mixes it up a lot. And that's because that movie has that liberty to do it. It's an action movie. It's like, when there's a thrilling action scene, that action scene ends. Then it goes back to the time before. That's how that movie can work. It actually does it quite a lot in the middle of an action scene. But it works because it's an action movie, not a thriller like this movie. This movie has to really give you intensity on that boat. And I really dug it when there was a boat. When there was a boat. I had no care about their love life before it. There was very little chemistry between them. So I, a lot of the movie I found myself really bored. This movie could have been done so well if they just, if they just didn't do those time jumps. It, this movie would have worked. They did the time jumps. The movie really failed for me. Over one thing I did really like in this movie is that one way you can put yourself in the scenario. Okay, this movie lets you put yourself in the scenario of on that boat. Like, what would I do? Now, the first part of this movie on the boat, the boat's really damaged and everything. Dug that. Later on, the boat gets really boring, and I don't care about anything. In fact, later on in this movie, I just didn't care. I saw all these Mac reviews for I saw. Chris Stuckman, I saw Solo with Star Wars story in this movie, because I was like, it has pretty much the same Rotten Tomatoes score. Chris Stuckman gave it the same rating. Maybe I'll like it. Instead, I found the movie to actually be boring, predictable, and overall just so mixed up. It's like taking Shane Lee Woodley's character's arc and just mixing it up, completely losing any tension, anything like that. Our drift was very disappointing for me. This movie could have worked so good if they just didn't mix it up. This movie was disappointing for me. I'm going to give Adrift a 6. I really sounded like Chris Stuckman there. Just, I'm going to give this movie whatever rating my system is. Alright, yeah. I actually expected this movie to be 5 minutes, not 4. Alright, so Adrift, have you seen it? What are your guys' thoughts on it? A Quiet Place review will come out later today. What do you guys think on Adrift? I will talk more about future reviews and in my Quiet Place review. Yeah, see you guys next time.